Hey guys, Ivan here, and this video, as you can see, we are starting with a new physique update of Phil Heat, who posted this video of just himself flexing in the mirror and this caption. The caption says loading and there is a wink emoji. What does this mean? Well, now that we know that what he was talking to Dan Solomon about was not him coming back to the Mr. Olympia stage and competing again, now we know that he's commentating the Mr. Olympia, we can be pretty sure that he's not gonna be doing the Mr. Olympia, not this year, but what about Arnold Classic, what about Atleticon? Is Atleticon still a thing? Is it still happening? I have no idea, but what we do not know for a fact is that Phil Heath retired. He never officially retired, he never made a statement, I'm retiring. None of us bodybuilding fans were happy to hear that Flex Lewis is retiring from bodybuilding. We were waiting for his comeback, we were waiting for years. He was supposed to switch to the Open and compete at the Mr. Olympia in 2020, in 2021 and also in 2022, but it never happened and eventually he announced retirement. He said that he is retired, he said that he was done. Maybe we weren't super happy about this, but at least he was transparent with us, with his fans, about his future plans as far as competing, and he told us that he is retired. Phil he never did that. We pretty much thought that he was done in 2018 when he lost to Sean Roden, but he came back in 2020. He lost, he wasn't even second, he was third. So that was probably pretty much it. That was probably the end of his career. But he just kept teasing us. He kept hinting a comeback. Just like High Green has been doing and is probably doing even still, but nobody cares at this point. We signed Kai off, but we are not still sure about Phil. Is he really done? Is he just teasing us to stay relevant or is he actually gonna compete again? One thing is for sure, he looks great, he still does look great, as you can see he's still big and full and round and very lean, he looks good, he looks like a good good bodybuilder, could he win the Mr. Olympia again, if he fixes the stomach and if he still has it, maybe, he's not that old, he can still do it probably, but does he wanna do it, does he wanna try again, who the hell knows. Here is a comment that somebody wrote in Phil Heath's comment section saying that he's gonna pull an Arnold, which probably means come back again and win another title like Arnold did back in 1980. They also added a hashtag unfinished business and Phil replied to this comment but he didn't say no bro I'm retired I'm not gonna compete again no he just says ha ha so this doesn't really mean anything but he never said again he never said that he's retired. Here is another comment that says always uploading gains bro and his reply is I must wink which probably means what everybody is thinking and what everybody is saying that Phil Heath needs to stay relevant somehow and he's doing that by posting these very frequent physique updates in which he looks very impressive. So at this point I'm like 90% sure that we'll never see Phil Heath on bodybuilding stage again but there still is a tiny chance that we're gonna see him one more time at least because he still has it and who knows what is happening in his head, what his plans are, how he feels and also what his stomach is looking like which is probably the most important thing. So guys tell me what do you think, do you think he's gonna come back and would you even like him to come back and could he win Mr. Olympia again, let's say if his stomach was fine, if he didn't have a bubble gut, what do you think? If you guys are pre-workout addicts like myself, I would definitely suggest a Vintage Blast for you. It is an amazing pre-workout, it has so many great flavors, you can choose your own. By using my code, you're gonna get a 12% discount and also you're gonna help me and my channel. So if you guys wanna support me, I would appreciate you trying out, for example, Vintage Blast. There is a link down below, it will get you to the website, so you can choose your own flavor and try this amazing pre-workout. Alright, next we have a physique update of Horse MD, who looks much bigger than he looked when he was trying to compete in Classic. He got a lot of the size back and he is weighing a lot. He's like, uh, I believe, 260 right now. But he looks a little bit chubby. As you can see, his midsection has gotten really soft, much softer than ever before. And what is happening here, I'm just guessing, is that he went completely off. So he was prepping for a long time for that classic debut and he was probably trying really hard and he was doing all kinds of fat burners, all kinds of all kinds of gear to try to look as good as he can and also bring the weight down. 
And he told us also in a post that he was suffering like crazy for that prep, that it was not healthy, he did not feel healthy, he did not feel good, it was a horrible prep for him. So I'm guessing he was using a lot of, a lot of gear during that time and he probably felt really toxic. So after his prep ended, he probably decided to start eating normally again, start training hard, but he probably stopped gear and he looks like he did that because he doesn't really have that kind of hardness and fullness and roundness that he usually has when he's on stuff. And also another sign, another thing that might point to that is his stomach, his midsection. Because this is what happens when you go off the gear. You get softer and usually you gain a lot of belly fat. Not a lot, of course, he didn't gain a lot, but he gained some. His midsection doesn't look super tight. You can see his belly button, it looks a little bit too big. So he definitely gained some fat in that uh, midsection. And I'm sure it would not have happened if he was on gear. So he probably started eating like crazy. He was struggling really bad to get under that weight cap in classic physique. So he was starving himself. And once his prep was over, he probably started binging. I'm sure he did that. I'm sure he was like, screw it all, I just want to eat, I just want to feel normal. So he ate a lot and he probably stepped again off of everything and this is what happened. So he definitely gained a lot of weight, he got rounder and bigger, but he gained some fat, especially in the belly area, which is something that happens usually when you step off the gear. Again, this is only speculation, this is just my assumptions, I have no idea what he's doing. I can say that he looks bigger and rounder, much much bigger and rounder than he looked during his prep. And I'm sure the next time we see him on stage, and it's gonna be in the open, he said that, it's gonna be an impressive package and I'm really excited to see him back on the stage. Horse MD is Brazilian, Marcelo de Angelis actually, that's his name, and these two guys are also Brazilians. You have Ramon Dino on the right, and on the left you have Gabriel Zanzanelli. I hoped I didn't butcher his uh, name, but these two guys are both Brazilians, they are both classic physique competitors, and they are both looking really good, they are both qualified for the Mr. Olympia of course, and Gabriel Zanzanelli is also known as Brazilian Chris Bumstead. As you can see, he does look like Chris a lot, physique-wise and also uh, facial lines-wise, hair and mustache, he has all, all of it, he looks like Chris a lot, and also he's in a conversation of actually being one of the top classic physique Olympians these days. We'll see how he's gonna do, he competed at the Mr. Olympia before, but he was never in this kind of shape, he improved a lot, so he does look very good, and also it's interesting, I forgot to screenshot this, but in his Q&A, Ian Valier had this guy in his, I believe, top 5 or top 6 at a Mr. Olympia. He had, of course, Chris Bumstead and he didn't have Terence Ruffin in 2nd. I think he had Terence in like 4th or 5th in 2nd. I believe he had Ramon Dino, then he also mentioned Urs Kalatinski. And no, he did not forget to mention Fabian Meyer. This guy is actually Austrian. I thought he was German, but a lot of Austrian fans corrected me. So he's actually Austrian and this guy looks good. I have him also in my top six this year. And also Ian mentioned this guy, Gabriel Zanzanelli. And I agree with him. I have to agree. This guy looks very good. And people are wondering who would beat who? Which Brazilian is the best classic physique Brazilian in the world? I saw different polls. I saw different comparisons. And finally, we got an actual photo. Now, as you can see, if you check out the floor and the backdrop, you will notice that this is not uh, this is not a real life comparison. These guys were not really standing one next to another. They just took the photo on the same spot, and then somebody con connected these two photos in one photo. So it really looks like they stood one next to another, but it doesn't really matter. It is the same lighting, the same background, and I'm sure they got the scale right. So you can. See still see the difference and honestly I think Ramon looks much better and also he proved himself placing second at the Arnold Classic and he could have been first, nobody would complain and uh, now you can see this photo here, you can see the difference between these two guys, so I think he definitely has better genetics, I think Gabriel has uh, better arms, right? really massive, really big arms, really good looking arms and also like bigger rib cage. I think his structure is gonna allow him to be even wider than he is right now and I think with a few more years, he's gonna look much more impressive than he's looking right now. These guys are, though, pretty close. They're looking great, both.
both of them. Personally, I have Ramon Dino fighting for first at the Mr. Olympia. I think he's going to be second at the Mr. Olympia. And I think Gabriel has an actual chance of cracking a top 5, top 6. We'll see. Both of them are looking amazing. And as far as who is the best Brazilian classic physique guy, I would go with Ramon right now. What do you guys think? We are about a week out of Tampa Pro and it looks like it's going to be a really good show. They are basically all very well known guys here in this lineup. It's crazy. Tampa Pro is always a good show and this year it's going to be really really competitive. We don't have too many top Olympians though, we do have Akeem Williams who was 62 years ago, but all of these guys, almost all of these guys are well known, as you can see Morgan Aist, Eddie Bracamontes, Tim Bodesheim, Phil Klahar, Roman Fritz, Dorian Haywood, Henry Jackson the third. I don't know who this guy is, I found him on IG but he's not exactly well known, we also have Song Chul Lee, uh, Joe Mackey, and whatever his last name is, I can't even pronounce it, uh, he's from Korea, and also Akim Williams. Now, I'm really curious about how Joe Mackey is gonna look, because he seems very good right now. He is coached by Milos Sarchev, that's right, Milos has a lot of top-level clients lately, and he has been doing a really good job with most of them, all of them, and as you can see, Joe Mackey looks the best he ever looked. Now, this guy is known more for his crazy lifts, he has an insane deadlift, I think he's deadlifting like 900 pounds, which is really heavy for a bodybuilder, but, you know, ignore that, just take a look at this physique. He really does have that round shape, especially the arms and the shoulders, he is not exactly super wide in the shoulders, he doesn't have the longest clavicles, but he does have really big and round delts. Overall, it seems like he's bringing a good level of conditioning and hardness and everything just seems uh, to be going really well for Joe Mackey. I'm expecting this guy to be in the top mix. Right now, currently, I have to say Akeem Williams is the favorite because of his track record and he also already won the Tampa before, but based on this guest posing video, he doesn't seem like he's bringing some crazy shape. He doesn't seem super, super conditioned. Now, he is far from the camera. You can't really see everything but I mean, look at his back, it doesn't look that impressive, yeah, I mean, sure, he's gonna be in a decent shape, but is he gonna be shredded, and I think he needs to be really on if he wants to win in this lineup, so far he posted zero updates, why is he doing that, does he wanna try to pull a Dorian, I don't think so, he's guest posing, he just isn't very active on social media, he's not very outspoken, he is actually a smart guy, he's very interesting when he talks, but he never really does that, why? I don't know, he probably just wanna stay out of it for some reason and just compete, which is totally okay if he doesn't leave off sponsorships and he doesn't enjoy doing it. Anyways, this is him at 10 days out of this Tampa Pro, so does he look super shredded, does he look like he can win this show? I don't know, I can't really tell, but based on what I'm seeing, I'm not super impressed. Who I am impressed with though is Quinton Area. For some reason he's not on the current list, but we know he's doing this show, and I think this guy is the favorite. I have him as the favorite to win Tampa Pro, Kamal Algarven is also not on the list, he's also very well known, and I personally have Quinton. Based on what I'm seeing right here, based on how his conditioning is coming along and how much he progressed in the offseason, this is his physique at 6 days out of Tampa, as he says, and he looks sick, man, he looks so impressive, you know, I'm sensing Ronnie Coleman vibes, I like to call this guy the future Ronnie Coleman, and he has all the tools to be one of the greatest in the world, and is this gonna be the year where he uh, really establishes his name, I think this is gonna be the year where he wins a pro show and goes to the Mr. Olympia, and I believe that show is going to be Tampa in about 5 days from now. Whatever you guys think though, tell me in the comment section down below, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, and for more videos like this, subscribe to my channel guys, thank you so much for watching, all the best and bye bye.